Good evening, Theo Trade. This is Coy Rosenblum, and you're watching the Theo Nightly video for January 3rd, 2019. And we have rapid movement in the market, dead cap bounce at play, and a market that is failing right into our resistance target, and additional money flow is risk off. We'll talk about all these things built on videos from last week and Don's discussion last night about the instability of markets. Picking up on that, we had discussed on our S&P futures chart about the possibility of a rally into resistance. So Don's video recently talked about five reasons this rally is likely to fail. And I talked about how far the rally was likely to go. And that was the 20 EMA target. That's just about the 2550 level. And the market fell just a little bit shy of that. And we're seeing an equity sell-off on Thursday's session. On the backs, sure, of some fundamental news and some stock-specific news, China, Apple, and others. And of course, we're also watching bonds surge today. We'll cover all that as quickly as possible in the video. But the main idea, as we go through all these charts briefly, is that risk off is back on the table, and it's back on the table quickly. Starting with our S&P futures and the S&P 500, we are seeing a movement down away from the 2500 level, which is just a little bit shy of our 2550 spot, and it's roughly 2525. That was a reversal, a rally, and a bounce, as discussed in a prior video, toward this 20-day exponential average. And the play was to go into the spot, we are now shifting our plays to go against it or away from it. So that will be any number of bearish strategies on a departure or swing down away from 2525 and 2500 in the S&P futures in the Dow. That's going to be a departure from about the 23,000 level. And the NASDAQ just got that target, right? That's what we were looking for. We were looking for a dead cat bounce or a V-spike reversal rally, or a bear market rally, if you will, toward the 20-day exponential. And that was roughly 6,400 in the NASDAQ. So we are seeing departure plays if you were bullish on a swing or in-out spread basis or intraday basis trading upward toward this level. Now the game is shifted to play down away from it in a series of bearish trades on the intraday frame or the swing positions. So that's the picking up where we left off from the last week's video. Now, the other ways to support that or trade that, we can of course trade volatility futures in themselves, VIX index, as we see a sell-off toward this 24, uh, 23 level in the VIX, but holding support, watch this 24 index level. I think the main thing to watch, even if you don't trade these markets, is going to be the bond market explosion. We do not see moves in the bond market this powerful, this persistent, and this relentless unless something else is going on. So the fact that capital is rotating very quickly in a large scale toward the bond market, think of the bond market as a safe market or a risk off market. This is the 10 year treasury note futures. Look at ZB, which is gonna be our 30 year futures. And that's the 30 year treasury bond. Fact is we have a persistent and relentless uptrend. At the same time, our oil market and equity markets are sliding. These bounced up a little bit with, with a retracement higher. Bond market did not do that. So watch the bond market very closely. The other market to watch, even if you don't trade it, is this other risk off parameter, which is gold. And gold continues to surge higher, 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 and just broke through in today's session our targets at the 1280 per ounce level and it's headed rapidly toward 1300 taking a perspective back toward our daily charts we see that crude oil like the equity market is in a persistent downtrend but is retracing up toward its 20-day exponential and that's about 48 per barrel again take off any bullish positions and play a departure which is a bearish swing away from 48. The alternate thesis, of course, we have to plan that, would be a breakout above 48 toward 50, and that would be the alternate thesis, unexpected, short squeezed pathway. But until that happens, watch this bearish swing away from 48. Now that's our bullish markets or our risk on markets. 
Gold is a risk off market. We have seen a bullish reversal up away from the 1200 level and it's higher high, higher low, persistent higher high, higher low, and a break above the 200 day simple average. Gold has achieved all of our upside targets and is pushing up toward 1300. And this is or should be considered a risk off defensive protective market. We can also look at it in terms of GLD. You can trade options on these in out spreads or otherwise play positions or manage risk. To the upside, if you don't want to trade futures, GLD would work for that. So would TLT, which is our bond fund ETF for the bond market for the higher frame bonds. Also looking at IEF, which is a shorter term or at least a seven to 10 year bond. Main idea, you're seeing rapid bullish action in the bond market, ETFs, futures, etc. And you're also seeing strong bullish volume in these funds. This does suggest continuity. And the fact that the bond market in today's session is breaking above the 123 level, which is a prior high, puts it into new bullish territory. Open air could go further. We do not want to stand in front of this, but just pull the perspective back to why is money rotating so rapidly, so quickly from equities and the safety into protection and risk off. Uh, that's what we'll be talking about the next few days and weeks, Theotrade. But just follow these markets, follow money flow, even on this bigger perspective, and take a look at the comparisons. Again, money has consistently flown out of equities, out of crude oil. These are both economically sensitive sectors and parts of the economy, and these are defensive or risk off. And it's not just a small money flow, it is rapid and persistent. This should call our attention and have us shifting our strategies to be more bearish or at least defensive, careful, cautious as we start the new year. We'll be following these developments and more in the days to come and of course the next weeks. Take care. This is Corey Rosenblum with your Theo Nightly video for January 3rd, 2019.